very well. Father, Frank Chapman wishes to speak with you. Do you want to talk about Liara? That isn't what I came here to discuss. My work has reached a stage and I need to know more about your gravity control. It is too soon. Now, how do we know he's not a spy for the Solarites? You're too distrusting, Heron. All right. You may see it. The density of our planet made it possible for us to advance gravity and therefore anti-gravity theories. It's beyond me. Einstein was working on this problem, but he died before he could complete his investigations. What causes Rayton's high density? The atoms on this planet have narrower electronic orbits than the atoms on most other planets. The smaller they become, easier it is for us to control and take advantage of positive and negative gravity. But why is Rayton getting smaller? This planet is slowly using up the energy that holds the atomic particles together. You mean you might disintegrate into nothing? Yes, someday. But it will not be in our time. Well, I guess it's the same as on Earth. We don't seem to worry that our sun might be cooling off in many millions of years. Uh, the danger for us is that sudden bursts of concentrated heat directed on our ray tongue might suddenly speed up the process of time. You think that's possible? Uh, we have enemies who want our knowledge of gravity and who know our weakness. You're expecting an attack? When you have enemies, you always expect an attack. time I've had a chance to talk to you alone. How is it you're more different than the others? I don't mean your silence. I I mean, you're warm or uh, more sensitive. That wasn't really a question, as I know you can't answer. I just wanted you to know how I feel. It's a strange world. I don't want to hurt Liara. You don't either. I have charges to make against the Earthman Chapman. He is imposing himself both on Liara, your daughter, and the mute girl Zeta. Now, this is an insult to Liara. You know I love her. And a direct insult to me. I am asking, rather, I am demanding your permission to challenge him to the duel. sent for me? Yes. 
I have reports about you that are not good. That you're causing much trouble. What am I supposed to have done now? You are forcing your attentions on Liara. And then on the mute girl, Zeta. That's not true. Why don't you ask them? He lies, Siren. Is it true? Has he forced himself or his attentions upon you? Why would she admit it? Perhaps she's afraid of it. Being mute, she's unable to defend herself. Maybe she's protecting me. Listen, I'm not going to be put on trial or questioned by you or anyone else for something I haven't done. You know, buddy, I don't like you. Maybe it's a carryover from Earth and not good taste. But I'd like to hang one on you. Chapman, Harren has challenged you to the duel of Rayton. Do you accept his challenge? A duel for what? What kind of a duel? This guy doesn't look very honest to me. A duel of bravery. You know, Mr. Sesson, maybe this duel business is a good idea. It might clear the air a little. So how do we go about it? Aaron, you know the rules for the duel of Rayton. But for him, I'll have to explain and show the results. Chapman, come here. Those are gravity plates that we've had placed here. Their intensity is so high that any object or any person placed on any one of them would immediately disintegrate. Here, let me show you. Rayton is one of physical strength and skill. You will use this rod and attempt to push your opponent on top of one of the gravity plates. You saw what happened to the rock. Get ready. Put the combat rod in position. my signal, you will start the duel. There can be no quarter called and no quarter given. The fate of the victim is in the hands of the victor. The moment has come. At my light signal, you will proceed. <laughs> Thank you. 